So I have this situation. I have a one kilogram block that is dropped from a meter up in the air and falls straight down. Another block with two kilograms slides down a, a frictionless curved ramp, dropping the same vertical distance of one meter, but traveling a greater <coughs> horizontal distance. The final velocity of block one is V1. Final block, velocity of block two is V2. Where's my problem here? So find there they are. The question is, what can we say about the magnitude of V1 and V2? <coughs> How will these two numbers compare? 1 kg dropping straight down 1 meter, 2 kgs dropping down 1 meter but following a curved path. What do I know about the magnitude? What does magnitude mean? Just the number. Right? First thought you should have is, okay, I look at these two numbers here. What is the thing pulling them down? Gravity. Right? I have no friction, therefore the normal force is not in play. And what do I know about gravity? Mass independent. Right? Therefore, what do I know the answer is going to be? They're going to be the same. If I drop a book or a piece of paper, if I remove friction, they fall at the same rate. We, already, we also saw a demo with two racetracks that we saw the long path was actually faster, right? And so just assume, don't assume long path means slower either. But if we just use energy, think about this from energy, what's the velocity? So what's my initial energy here? So energy initial is going to be what? MGH or MGY. What's my final energy state? Right there. The moment before it hits the ground. There's no, no potential left, it's all kinetic, right? So one half MV final squared. Energy initial equals energy final. Therefore, I'm going to have MGY must equal one-half MV final squared. And I already know what V final works out to be. V final is going to be 2GY all square rooted. We just saw that in the previous problem. So if I look at this situation, it's the exact same situation. Initial state. It's just MGY. Final state, one half MV squared. Final squared, M goes away again. V final is going to be 2GY all square rooted. If I don't remember, if I calculate it out, I find that they end up with the same energy, the same velocities, same speed. Their velocities are different. Why? One's going straight down, one's going to the side. But this is why we have the word magnitude here. What's the number? They both have the same number. 